Nicole's got every mobile geeks, and here I have the Asus Transformer Book T100. So this is a 10.1 inch 2-in-1 from ASUS and it's running the Intel Baytrail platform. So that's the Intel Atom Z3740. So this is a quad-core processor. This is Intel's new platform meant for the ultra mobile category. So the Baytrail platform does offer quick sync. So I'm going to fire up PowerDirector 12 and export a 2 minute 1080p video. So let's see how long that takes. So what we have here is a minute and 35 second clip of Hong Kong. It was taken with a Canon camera, AVCHD, uh, 1080p. So if we head on over into Produce, I chose MPEG-4, 1080p, uh, 16 megabits bitrate. Uh, Intel QuickSync is selected, so now we've hit Produced. And if I just zoom in just a little bit, you can see that 6 seconds have elapsed and we have 44 to go. So this is a minute and 35 second clip, which it looks like it's going to come out uh, well under a minute. So it's not quite double real time, but this is definitely faster than real time. So remember that the Intel Bay Trail Z3740, this is a low power CPU. This is a quad core CPU, but this is meant for good power, decent graphics, but all in a very, very small power envelope. So we came out at 50 seconds for a 1 minute and 35 second clip. So faster than real time. So let's check out some of the other multimedia programs that I have on here. This will give you an idea of how fast it takes or how long it takes for Adobe Photoshop to boot up. Now let's just grab some of my wallpaper photos. Yes, it is a, it is a trial. Yes, continue to trial. No, continue trial. All right. So let's take a grab this one, drag this one in here. So you can see that totally works out. Ah. Oh, let's just see. If I want to say outline one of these people, I can totally do that. So you can see the Photoshop totally works. Absolutely no lag time for a lot of the stuff that I want to do. Now let's just say that we want to save this for web. We don't want to make a GIF. Uh, actually, I don't want a PNG24. I want a JPEG. Oh, come on. Come on. JPEG. There we go. High, 60 quality, sure. Uh, so let's say save, test. And that saved relatively quickly. Thanks so much for joining me. If you want to see more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. And if there is something that you want to see on the T100, why don't you let us know in the comments? Because, well, if you check out this playlist, you'll see that I have been really good about responding to requests. So Nicole Scott here for Mobile Geeks.